this is though. He's surprised that he was wrong about his own intuition. Like he say normally he'd be right about everything. Like how he was right about it not being his baby. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I know you're not uh, something because of how you respond to me. And he said, it makes sense that you will respond when you know it's the karmic. Oh. I guess because they fell out. He trying to tell you something they said. Something to think about, making connections in head, learning quickly, realization, teaching others, taking on a mentor role. So he's realizing that in every situation he's been in, he's always been the one picking them up and they drop him when they're ready to move on, when they've healed and all that stuff like that. But whole time he's waiting on them to heal him. And instead of him getting back at them because he knows that's even more karma, he just let them like he just move on or whatever or something like that but the only reason why these females were fighting for divine masculine is because they wanted divine feminine and they misjudged divine feminine thinking that if she got hurt enough that she would turn by or at least they say you don't have to turn completely gay just be bisexual and let me experience you type stuff and it's like he realizing that these girls like Okay, so he's saying if I'm mirroring them, he said, because I know what I wanted to do, but what I actually did, and I couldn't put my finger on it. And he's saying that because my heart was somewhere else, like, once somebody explains to him, he's going to realize because he didn't see it that way. Um, <laughs> and once he starts thinking back and recalling things. Like, she did say that, huh? <laughs> That's what she meant. So, he emotional outbursts, stuck in bad relationship, wandering eyes, good communication, equal power, healthy self disclosure, learning someone's true feelings. So, the truth is about to be exposed either between the karmic crew, divine masculine, karmic feminine, um, You know, and the people that are affected by it, they're gonna come forth and they're gonna. They say all we gotta do is admit it and deal with our karma, and that'll be it. But they're afraid of what the karma is, and if they'll be able to handle it. And they're saying that the way that you acted still basically saying like you're so kind hearted and. and you make stuff happen. So if we ever needed anything, you would be able to get it for us. Or we could depend on you for at least some type of support. I don't know. Anyway. Major financial loss, bad karma. He said he said his vibration went down. Even though he was stopping things, his emotional side was as if he was still on the stuff, making him say, like, I might as well be on it if I feel. Basically saying he felt like he was on some type of drug, even though he wasn't taking those drugs. Yeah. He said he started tweaking about stuff that he normally never tweaked about. Yeah. I don't know a bad decision he's saying if this is my karma and i ended up with the person yeah he said i don't understand how i stayed here so long knowing like i was t basically he was talking but not remembering what he was saying so he was giving the message that he was supposed to give but he wasn't recalling it because it's like his memory memory loss 
because the plan that they had in the beginning this karmic has him stuck to that plan even though his higher self is communicating but his physical like his actions not mean up to what he's saying <laughs> uh It's like he said he's being controlled. He's watching his life being taken over. And there's nothing he could do about it. Like he's being, he's paralyzed. But his eyes are open. So he's watching everything. But he can't move or talk. Or nothing. Season a risk up to succeeding with some conditions. Chance to impress peers. So it's like people are rooting for him. But they can't because they're under the thing too but if they could break free from it they would tell like if i knew that this was what was happening i'm just so ignorant into having found the entertainment that i didn't even realize stuff was being done on me <laughs> and then a three of pentacle is how mature divine feminine is but the way that she act because she's so shy they call that immaturity but it's really not like being childish and always like being a bully picking and being ignorant all the time that's childish that's that's and that's immaturity but being young and naive <laughs> how could you blame me i'm just living life having fun experiencing new people and what they've been through and how to unlock adventures for people to anywho for a high you know so now that he realized that the, that's the reason that they call divine feminine weird but whole time you know, anywho So the comics are scared because this divine masculine knows all of their dirty laundry but the reason why they don't want to release him is because they don't want divine feminine finding out but divine feminine already knows like all of y'all dirty laundry and what does that even matter like who like why does that matter because then they feel like divine feminine gonna throw that in their face and they can't take that because they care about what people think about them or or you know i mean but everybody knows that we just don't be you know, what? I don't know. Well, you know, everybody might not know. But for the ones that do and you see how they still react when they're around you, it's like okay, we know that you gotta do what you gotta do. It's hard. Relax, you have better things to focus on than um, giving your energy to these nobodies. They real life trying to find entertainment out of a dead situation. Like like I said, when you try to tell somebody something and they don't get it, it's like talking to a dead horse or beating a dead horse or talking to the walls or whatever. But, like, okay, and I'm just pulling energies. I ain't really... You can't keep up because you are not on her level. Maybe it's not meant for you. Because the way... It, it's not like they approached Divine Feminine and said, I need this, then the third. And Divine Feminine was just like, okay. They came to Divine Feminine because they know that she has answers to help them get through it. And the reason why they were receiving karma is because once Divine Feminine told them what to do and they didn't do it, meant that they didn't want the help. So stop reaching out and praying and ask for all this stuff when you really don't want it. Yeah it's a waste of time and for the people out there really trying 
y'all doing that on purpose to distract and make it seem like y'all need help and that y'all not getting it because y'all don't understand but y'all really do y'all just causing time away from the people that you know because you're feeding off of that person's energy and you don't want them to move forth and succeed and be better than you but it's not about that person being better than you it's about that person being better for themselves because they're not happy where they're at just because you happy where you at don't mean that everybody else have to be like i don't understand how you pick that position to be in and then get mad at somebody else because they don't want to be in the same position as you you gotta let people go when they don't y'all drift away y'all not on the same page y'all go to separate schools you can't get mad at that person because they got accepted to a different school than you like that's that's attachment issues <laughs> try to make a person feel bad because you don't want them to leave <laughs> okay that's long enough